Pogo F1 is one of the latest sensation in the smartphone world for its aggressive pricing and high class specs. It is the only smartphone which has Snapdragon 845, 6 or 8GB of RAM with a price of 2199, which is a pretty good deal, right? And we all know that this is a great smartphone. But even Xiaomi has to compromise somewhere in order to reach that aggressive pricing. So in this video, I am going to tell you 5 things you should consider before buying Poco F1. You are watching Techimania and let's get started. First of all, let's speak about the display. It comes with a 6.18 inch display with 403 ppi. The display looks good, but when it comes to the display protection, this mobile features Gorilla Glass 3, which is a 3 generation old Gorilla Glass. So if you are going to buy this thing, remember one thing, the display is a bit brittle when compared to other smartphones. So a tempered glass and a case is strictly recommended for this mobile. Build quality. This mobile has a plastic back or polycarbonate back if they want to call it that way. But if a person is putting 21k for buying a mobile, they at least expect a metal back. We don't ask for glass back and wireless charging, but a metal build is a minimum requirement to protect the mobile. Come on Xiaomi, people are ready to pay extra amount if you could include a metal back. So yeah, anyway, if you are going to buy this mobile, keep in mind that this does not have a single metallic part including the volume rockers and even the power buttons. Wide vinyl one. This mobile does not have Widevine L1 certification. First of all, for people who don't know what Widevine L1 is, it is a DRM license that a mobile receives, which is mandatory to play HD videos in online streaming services like Amazon Prime, Netflix or even BBC. So with this mobile you don't get this Widevine L1 certification, instead you get this Widevine L3 certification. But you can stream videos in Atmos 480p. Playing videos in YouTube will not be a problem, but for Netflix and Amazon Prime, it is. If you watch a lot of Netflix or any online streaming services, this mobile is not for you. No NFC, no IR Blaster, no dedicated SD card slot. This mobile does not have NFC or IR Blaster. And it's not a very big thing to consider because not too many people use NFC or IR Blaster. But since Xiaomi is backing up Poco, even though many people don't think of NFC, people would expect IR Blaster. Because Xiaomi was providing IR Blaster in nearly every device they launched, irrespective of the price point. And this mobile does not have a dedicated SD card slot too. Yeah, it comes with a hybrid slot, but if you want a SD card separately, you have to go for the higher variant, which costs you around 38k. And you have a better mobiles in 38k like OnePlus 60 etc. The next thing to consider before buying this mobile is its stereo speakers. Though Xiaomi claims that this mobile comes with a stereo speaker setup, the secondary speaker that is the earpiece is not that loud to be claimed as stereo speakers. The sound from the earpiece is nearly 10 to 15 percent of the main speaker. So with this mobile you cannot feel that surround effect. The earpiece do work as a speaker but you cannot compare it with the bigger players like OnePlus 60 or even the Note 9. But keeping aside all the negative points that I just told, this is the best smartphone that you could buy for 21,000. It has good cameras, good battery life and a great performance all at 21,000. So if you are okay with the points that I just told, go ahead and buy this mobile. The best buy links are in the description below. So yeah, do that. As always, thanks for watching. If you guys like this video, please hit that subscribe button and encourage me. Thank you, Techie Media signing off.